All right, back to the bucket we go. You guys understand now, this is a real show. There's no prompters, there's no scripts for these people, as you can tell by what just happened up here. Your next comedian goes by the name of Wow. We know this young man. He came on the show two weeks ago and made a fucking impact. Ladies and gentlemen, his second time ever on Kill Tony. This is Aaron Belial, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is, everybody. All the way from Canada. His second time ever on the show. Already a Kill Tony legend. You're gonna get to see him right now. Make some fucking noise for Aaron Belial, everybody. <laughs> Okie dokie, red band. That's, is that you? Deez, what the fuck was that? Guys, come on, get it together, what the fuck? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Belial. Clap for Aaron, everybody. Hello, my name is Aaron Belial, and I'm handicapped. Trouble is, Karen from the internet informed me that I'm not allowed to say handicapped because it's offensive. You can't say that word anymore. It is offensive to disabled people. Listen, Cracker, I'm handicapped. It's not offensive. Well, you don't get to decide what is offensive or not to disabled people. Who the fuck does then? Some two-legged white woman on Facebook who is probably commenting on her phone from a handicapped bathroom stall. It makes me mad. I try to be accepting of everybody, but these woke middle-aged white bitches just take it too far. Fuck yeah. Aaron Belial. Unbelievable. The second ever minute we've ever seen. He came on and fucking decimated uh, last week or two weeks ago. It's good to have you back, Aaron. How are you? What's shaking? What's going on? What did we not cover a couple weeks ago that we should know about you or talk about about you? This is your guys' first time seeing Aaron? Everything. Yes, I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Moses, what do you think about the great Aaron Belial? I gotta be honest, I, I've always wanted to see what Tony Hinchcliffe would look like with polio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> but still funny, still funny. Retard Tony. He can call me the N-word. I was just gonna say. <laughs> he can type I it really out. I hope he does, because technically it's not him saying it. So I think he can say it. That thing? Yeah. I've always wanted to meet a white black guy. <laughs> That's a good one. I'd fist bump you, but I don't want to knock you over. <laughs> he is a white black guy. Moses is from San Diego. This is what a San Diego black guy is like, everybody. Yeah, I sound like his voice machine. How are you doing? <laughs> it's from the mean cul-de-sacs of San Diego, everyone. Fucking. Yeah, I'll allow it. It is, it is Black History Month, but it, you need this more than I do. <laughs> I love it. Ty Rivera, your first time seeing Aaron? No, I met Aaron before he's been getting around Austin. I love Aaron. I, at first, though, when you said the name, I didn't know it, and I was wondering what was taking him so long. <laughs> and then he came around, and I was like, now I'm the asshole. <laughs> Don't say anything smart. I'll cut off your fucking speaker. I'm sitting <laughs> right here. <laughs> It's nice to meet the cast of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> My goodness, what a fucking force to be reckoned with. So this is why we're scared of AI taking over. I <laughs> 
I totally get it now. This guy is cerebral ballsy. You know what I'm saying? It is incredible. I love it. Aaron Belial, back in the house, his second time out. I write your jokes, not mine. That's why mine are good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Incredible. Uh, wow. I fucking love it. Aaron, you've been having fun in Austin. You're killing it. What, what, what do we, cons what exactly is your condition called? Like, what do we, I don't know if we really covered that. Because it's like, yeah, we actually asked a question, the episode that's airing tonight, you know, we've never met somebody that's a mute, and is that something like you don't have the vocal cords or your brain doesn't connect the wires, and you never answered it. And, and is there a way for me to make Red Band have that? Yeah. <laughs> is there like a pill I can slip into his fucking vodka Red Bull? Because I would love that. I have cerebral palsy. It's neuromuscular. Okay. Right. And, but like, yeah. <laughs> See, you, uh, you've, you've never like talked. Oh, this is a lot. Long, we should, we should do this trivia a, in between this part, you know? <laughs> I can't use all the muscles needed to form speech. Right, right. How, uh, how about your dick? What's your dick like? <laughs> yeah. If you can't talk, you can't say no. <laughs> Hi, motherfucking Rivera. <laughs> I love it. It works better than yours. Oh, especially on one. come on. <laughs> How does he know that? <laughs> I, I cannot imagine. And it lasts 10 minutes longer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't imagine what you fucking is like. It's like going at it and he tells you, I'm about to come. I'm going to shoot my load on your tits. I my sex life is not as bad as you might think. Obviously, it's a lot harder because I'm disabled, but I've been around. I'm cute, kind, and loyal. I'm like a puppy, but one you can legally fuck. <laughs> An unstoppable force. Hey, it, it. built for this show. Absolutely. I mean, legally fucking Canada. I don't think you guys really discriminate. Edit. <laughs> in, in sign language, what is the sign for mute? What the fuck? <laughs> Red band, shut the fuck up. Chat GBT wrote Sit that. Back, put your fucking microphone down and enjoy the show, okay? Jesus Christ, these fucking stupid questions. <laughs> hey, nothing better than a sign language question on a podcast, Do I look like boss. I know sign language? Wait, what? Do I look like I know sign language? I know, it's unbelievable. He's... He's... I thought they all knew. So handicapped. He makes you look like fucking Lance Armstrong or something like that. Oh, shit, he's got something brewing in there. With that fucking thumb moving at a fast pace. That fucking all his muscles are in his right thumb. Just dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig. He should be my new service dog. He's about the same intelligence. Oh my god. How dare you? You son of a bitch. I love it. Aaron, you into anything that we'd be surprised? Like, uh, you have other hobbies or anything like that? Like, uh, you fucking collect something? Or you... Uh, Skateboard. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Aha, uh -huh, he does know a little sign language. <laughs> oh, shit. Little Canadian birdie just fucking... I feel like you got a little something up your sleeve. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about that left arm, but uh, I feel like there's more to Aaron than what we know. Really interested. Perhaps bird watching. I got some trivia. I lost the answer to that question. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. I think that was a typo on that one. I make mental health content on Instagram. Oh, cool. I love that. So you're out there fucking helping people, creating laughter, which is the best medicine, unless you have whatever you have. <laughs> Pretty sure there's not enough laughter in the world to fix that fucking. <laughs> what do you got for us there? I'm gonna keep you up here for the next two hours. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see how long the Bluetooth battery in a JBL lasts. It's about twelve to thirteen hours. Tony has been taking hormone treatments to have the figure of a female tennis player. That is true. That's actually true. And I'm not there yet. I'm still, I need a lot more, a lot more injections to get to. Everything about you reminds me of Peter Pan, except the fact that Peter Pan was less like Tinkerbell than you are. And also, Peter Pan didn't throw handicapped people off of his stage every once in a while when he felt threatened with a fucking Gladiator 300 kick to the chest. I will send you, I will send you into Caution's way. That's true. And, and you ain't the type that she's gonna catch. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna fucking watch you hit the deck, dude. She's gonna take your cane and fucking shove it where the sun don't shine, which is... Which is a lot of places. This guy's a bully. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, he really is. He really is. Are you he, from Canada? He, is he? Yeah, can, he's Canadian. Yeah, yeah. See if you had American healthcare, might have caught that shit early. <laughs> yeah. 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 I told him last week. You can really tell which arm they put the vaccine in. <laughs> can't help. Can't help our dirty Texas sense of humor. You know what I mean? This is the sassiest Ouija board I've ever played with. <laughs> Aaron Balot. Fair enough. <laughs> Aaron, you are absolutely a star. Let me ask you this. The last time that you were on, I asked you, I was so amazed by you. I literally said, what do you want? And you said, uh, what was it, $30,000 for an immigration lawyer so that you can become an American. At that very moment, there was a man sitting in the front of the front row, a Harvard Law graduate that literally said that he will take on your case pro bono and make you an American citizen. In fact, I found out later after that that he broke his girlfriend's heart and she introduced him to Kill Tony, and or he broke his girlfriend's heart who had introduced him to Kill Tony and uh, it was his way of trying to impress her to get her back I can't remember his name. Do you remember his name? Why did you just say that? No, it's amazing because now she knows who we're talking about. The Iraqi Harvard Law graduate. There's only one One ever. So (laughs) it's very exciting. She's probably listening right now thinking, wow, he is a good guy. He's helping this guy. Have you heard anything from him? Is that following through? Is there any good news on that front? Is there uh, a lot of questions? Wait, if he's Iraqi, she's probably beheaded by now, right? Yeah. Well... He's working on it, he says. Amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. So what else? Is there anything else we can do for you, Aaron? Want some fucking stem cells into that left arm? Huh? <laughs> Friends with Joe Rogan, dude. We could fucking probably... Please. You'll be throwing up a gorilla kettlebell in fucking... five months if we have anything to do with it. Um... Where do you think the word mute like came? Never mind. Uh, the origin of the word mute. Do you think it like evolved over time? Like it started as something what else? What is wrong with Can you? Can you ask a good question? Everything Just you one. ever about to say, think before you do it. Go. Is this going to make people laugh? Is it going to advance the conversation? What is wrong with you? Can you ask a good question? Just one. Yeah, can you, sure, can you, sure, you sure, I can. Think for a sure, second? sure. I, I can ask. Uh, are you a virgin? <laughs> Jamal Bajiani is the name of the Iraqi lawyer. No, are you? <laughs> oh my God! A 
one-on-one -on -one handicap match. Just all VR porn, right? I didn't hear that. Wait, what? Shit. Just all VR porn, right? Just, just all, all VR. VR. Oh, just all VR porn. Oh, right. yes. Yeah. It's like real. Yeah. <laughs> VR meets CP. It's incredible that we're all <laughs> hanging out here tonight. Um, I don't know what to do with you, Aaron. You are absolutely a fucking star. I love your style. I hope you think that there's a good chance you're going to move to a place like Austin, Texas. What's your main goal when you get to uh, possibly be an American? Is Austin the place for you? I'm thinking you can go to New York or L.A. where they also lean a little left, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke of the night right there. I wanted to be nice today, but I was accidentally an asshole again. You wanted to what? Be nice. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. I'd love to have you on The Secret Show whenever you can. Yep. Thursday. Thursday night, live in Austin, Texas. Aaron Belisle just got a paying gig. Fucking legend. Make some noise for him one more time for the great Aaron Belisle, everybody. Hell yeah. Love that shit. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe and share this video to support me.